Get ready for an adventure as we dive into the world of looting tackle boxes in World of Warcraft. Have you ever wondered just how much gold you could make from looting those tempting boxes? In this video, we take on the challenge and loot a whopping 500 Tuskar tackle boxes to show you the potential gold earnings. I'll also cover what I found to be the most efficient routes using trial and error during this time it took me to loot this many tackle boxes. I'll be using my rogue decked out in a cool new pirate outfit to utilize stealth and CC to navigate some of the trickier locations. I'll start with a balanced inventory of 100,000 gold and empty out my bags to focus solely on looting tackle boxes. After refining my route, I discovered that Thaldrasis was the best zone to farm tackle boxes, with at least 70% of my loot coming from there. I hit the waking shore areas in between to give Thaldrasis boxes time to respawn. I'll caveat my route by saying that during the time I did this farm, there were no world quests in the Thaldrasis areas that I was farming, uh, which likely played a large part with the amount of boxes I found due to to limited traffic in those areas. With the amount of great items I got from the boxes, I had to empty my bags twice during the farm. When I was finished, I headed to Valdraken to figure out my total. So let's get into it. I only sold the great items I received from the boxes and received a total of 38,595 gold, which averaged out to 77 gold per tackle box. I also got one draconic recipe in a bottle, which had a dragon cosmetic recipe for inscription, two silver coins, and 12 copper coins. I did not sell the fish out from the boxes, since I will be using that for weekly Iskara Tuskar reputation turn-ins. Keep in mind you only need one character to get to renown 27 with Iskara Tuskar to unlock tackle boxes for all your characters. I didn't keep time during this farm, but I estimate it took around four hours. I wasted a lot of time in the beginning until I figured out what was the most efficient route. If I were to do this farm over again, it would probably take a lot less time. Using my example, this farm came to about 10,000 gold per hour, but it's heavily dependent on finding the most efficient route at that time. One thing I noticed while doing this is if there are other players looting the tackle boxes, it will disappear from the mini-map as soon as the first person loots it, but I was still able to come in afterwards and loot the box. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in more gold farming videos and other World of Warcraft content then go ahead and subscribe. Have a great day.